شباهنگام که میگیرند در شاخ تلاجن سایه ها رنگ سیاهی و زن دلخستگانت راست اندوهی فراهم تو را من چشم در راه شبا هنگام که بر جا در رها چون مرد ماران خفتگانند در آن نوبت که بندت دست نیلوفر به پای سر و کوهی دام گرم یاد آوری یا نه من از یادت نمی کاهم تو را من چشم در راه روزی که نن مکرمه قلم به دست گرفت و حرفای دلش را با زبان تصویر روی دیوار خانهاش نقاشی کرد کسی فکر نمی کرد زنی سال خورده از یکی از روستاهای شمال ایران به چهره جهانی تبدیل شود نن مکرمه نامی آشنا برای جامعه هنری ایران است مکرمه قنبری مشهورترین هنرمند خدا موخته ایرانی است او در سال 1307 در یکی از روستاهای مازندران متولد شد و زمانی که بیش از 60 سال سن داشت نقاش شد سنی که برای بسیاری از مردم سن پیری و از کار افتادگی است اما او قلم به دست گرفت و آنچرا که سالها در ذهن و دل داشت با رنگها و خطها جان بخشید تا امروز که خودش از دنیا رفته نامش جهانی شده باشد او خواندن و نوشتن نمیدونست برای همین بود که کلمه ها و حرف های دل مکرمه به صورت نقش هایی بر دل دیوار ها و پنجره ها در آمدند نقاشی هایی که در مشهور شدن او تاثیر زیادی داشتند نقاشی های نن مکرمه روایتگر داستان مادر بزرگ هاست داستان هایی تلخ و شیرین از سالهای دور او رؤیاهایش را به تصویر کشید و برای این کار به هیچ چیز جز دلش رجوع نکرد تأثیر محیط زندگی بر نقاشی های مکرمه قنبری کاملا مشهود است همچنین زندگی سخت او دردها و رنجهایی که متحمل شده بود در نقاشی هایش کاملا پیداست فعالیت جدی نن مکرمه در این زمینه از زمانی شروع شد که به خاطر فروخته شدن گاو محبوبش افسرده بود و برای رهایی از این اندوه به نقاشی پناه برد و آنچرا که در دل داشت روی دیوارها جان بخشید یکی از فرزندان نن مکرمه که علاقه مادرش را به نقاشی دید برای او از شهر وسایل نقاشی خرید تا بتواند راحت تر کار کند مکرمه نام فیلمی است از این بانوی هنرمند ایرانی که 22 سال قبل توسط مجید ماهیچی ساخته و امشب خلاصه ای از آن را با هم میبینیم با هم به تماشای نقش عشق بر دیوار خانه مکرمه مینشینیم به افتخار جناب ماهیچی
Karame Gambari, a self-made Iranian painter who has won several international talent prizes. She was born in a village in Mazandaran in northern Iran. Despite her great talent, she never received any formal training in painting. She began painting at the age of 64 when she came across some artists' paintings which her son had left at her home. She continued her painting using bright, original colors, inspired by the beautiful natural surroundings of her neighborhood. And within a few years, her works were noticed by painters in Iran and overseas. In an interview, she said that she paints like a child. Her paintings are full of stories, mostly with bright, beautiful colors. But there is always some dark shade somewhere in her works to bring out the bitter side of her life. Her paintings are her creation, her recollections of the stories that her husband used to recite to her, as well as local folk legends, religious tales, her children's faces, her life and her dreams also from stories that went on in her village. At first she started to paint at night and would hide her paintings if someone dropped by unexpectedly. Because in her village a farmer should not have had anything to do with paper as it was considered a waste. It was until she was 64 that Mokarame Gambari managed to start painting. Up until then, she had been busy over the years. She had raised nine children and had worked as a seamstress, hairdresser, midwife, and a healer. Her first painting is one of a cow that she loved. Her cow was a friend, a companion, and her pal. Women in northern Iran cherish the cow. The cow is sometimes like their child. They take care of it, they caress it, and they even raise it. Mokarame's cow was everything for her. And when it was getting old and got ill, her children decided to sell the beast without telling her. Overcome by sorrow, she began to paint after she had lost her cow. Mokarame's home 
overflows with her colorful works, with her paintings telling stories of her life, her joys, her sorrows, the difficulties that she went through in her life as a woman, the hard days with her husband when she suffered with a man who was a lot older than her, who would limit her, who would never pay attention to her desires, who would hit her, who had two other wives who lived in the same home. Men in general are shown like beasts in her paintings. They are always ugly, whereas her women are pretty and colorful. Sometimes she shows her hatred through two ugly birds demonstrating their irregular, fearful teeth. To visualize her happy moments and dreams, she paints colorful women of northern Iran dancing. The cow had a special place in my mother's life. After my father died, she bought a cow and started taking care of it. We had lots of cows. Not only my mother liked them, but they were a means of earning money to raise nine children. She would sell the milk, make yogurt and butter and sell it. This was a lot of work for my mother. She was always exhausted, and we had to take her to the hospital a few times. So we all decided to sell the cows and set fire to the haystack where the cows were fed. This was of course very sad, but our mother's health was much more important to us.
Mukarrami Gambari, a unique, outstanding woman and a self-made artist who will always remain in our memories. <laughs>